Here's the famous Austin sign. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ramon from Eclectic Emissary and we are here first time ever in Texas. So Austin, the city that is super weird and unique and cool in its own ways, we're here to explore it and we're going to show you the best things to do in the city. So stay tuned because this is part of our 50 states tour and I think it's like number 32. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so our first stop in Austin had to be some food. So we stopped at Cisco for some classic Tex-Mex and Mexican dishes. So I definitely got the enchilada and some awesome tacos and some great stuff. And even a michelada because, you know, we're here. So let's get it, man. The food is delicious and the restaurant's amazing. So I definitely recommend checking it out. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're here at Franklin's Barbecue, the most famous barbecue place in Austin, and there's a crazy line, man. So I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get this, so we're probably gonna have to get something else. But apparently it opens at like 11, and there's already a line out the door. It's super crazy, but you can smell like the smoky barbecue. It's so awesome, so hopefully we get to do it, but if not, there's tons of other awesome barbecue places, so let's check those out. Here's the famous Austin sign, man. It's on South First Street. So before you get downtown, you gotta check this out, man. One time, yo. So we made it to the Texas State Capitol just in time for a tour, which is actually free. And if you get here by 3.30, which is the last tour, you can go on and come inside the Capitol and check it out. So let's do it. got done with our tour of the Capitol building. It's super quick, they brought like 30 minutes. But here's the original star from the statue that they uh, ended up placing. So this is pretty cool. This is in the visitor center. So if you wanna check it out, it's totally free. Okay, so we made it to Esther's Follies, which is this like com comedy show slash magic show. I don't know, it's super famous. It's on 6th Street, right on the main avenue and it's awesome just make sure to reserve your tickets way ahead of time so anyway let's go hey we just got done with the esther's folly show what do you think it was a lot of fun it was very funny yeah it was super cool so it was like a comedy slash musical magic slash magic show and it's so hilarious I definitely recommend doing it uh, just don't sit in the front because they will definitely pick on you and they'll call you up to stage and everything but it's super cool definitely one of the highlights in Austin so do it in Austin, Texas on the Dirty Six, Sixth Street, this famous drinking street basically filled with bars, restaurants, you name it. Anyway, it's the perfect place to go out in Austin. So, if you're in the city, this is the place to be bar hopping and that's exactly what we're gonna do, so. So if you 
guys didn't know, Austin is actually the live music capital of the world. Who knew, man? I thought it was Nashville all this time. Look, there's so many similarities there. And after 9 p.m., this entire street, 6th Street, closes down and it becomes like Bourbon Street, basically. People just walking everywhere. There's live music. There's mechanical bull rides. There's so many cheap drinks. It is definitely the place to go if you're in Austin. So if you want to go out on a night out, 6th Street is your spot, man. So we're in downtown Austin at the Mexi Arte Museum. So we're gonna check out some super cool art. I know it's a super small exhibit. It's like seven dollars for a ticket. So let's check it out. across the street is the Driscoll Hotel. Apparently it's super famous for being haunted and uh, I guess they have a bar inside. You can take a tour or something so let's go inside maybe grab a drink and say that we've been in a haunted bar. Right, we're in Voodoo Donuts actually this is a, a chain I originally had in Portland Oregon so I guess they also have one in Austin and it's right downtown so it's pretty sweet they have like an amazing amount of eccentric donut flavor so it's pretty incredible. Now headed to the Bullock Museum so we can learn all about the history of Texas and it's one of the biggest museums in Austin so you definitely gotta check it out if you're interested in learning about the history of Texas. this awesome interactive art museum and exposition and it just has these crazy installations with just cool lights two super instagrammable pictures it's so cool you guys gotta check this out brother of 6th Street, a little more classy. They're super cool bars. Actually, this entire place was only residential um, at one point, and then they all turn into basically businesses and kind of uh, all took the shape of a house, which is pretty crazy, man. So they have tons of different styles of houses. Definitely never seen anything like this. There's a lot of cool bars, super cool vibe here. So you gotta come check it out. If you want a different vibe, then 6th Street. So yeah, let's go. 
Okay, so about 20 minutes from downtown is the Range Austin. So yeah, man, I feel like this is the place to do it. Never handled firearms, you want to do a safety course or anything like that. This is just a cool pastime here. All right, and there you have it, man. Some of the best things to do in Austin, Texas. It's definitely an interesting city. There's tons of like graffiti, tons of interesting like restaurants and uh, a lot of really cool stuff to check out. But it also there's like broken down building at the same time and I don't know it's like a weird mix I mean it's definitely a place you want to get some briskets tacos like Tex-Mex stuff like that hope you guys liked let me know if you guys also want to visit Texas in the future and uh, yeah I'll see you later peace out